Hello everyone, my name is Lena and welcome to Let's Play A New Life. Another short in the game, well telling the story about love and life, I guess. So without any further ado, let's dive in, let's see what the story has to offer. Our first talk. Can I sit here? Sure. What's your name? May, you? August. Oh, that's so nice. Like spring and, well, summer or autumn meeting. Oh my god, I've heard about you. Oh, what have you heard? Well, you're into... you're really into music. And you do everything in group projects. Oh, come on, yeah. The sound, you know, instead of talking sound conversation, it kind of bothers me. They could just leave it blank without any anything in the background. Let's just try to ignore it. My friend was in one of your groups. Is your friend a slacker? Yeah. That's why. <laughs> okay, okay. Fair point. Okay, should we talk about music or... Yeah, let's go to... Who told you? Who talked about me? I think we have a lot of mutuals. Are you a computer science major? Am I a sellout? <laughs> yeah. Same. Computer science major, yeah. The question is... Are you doing it for money or for fun? This really is THE question, huh? A little bit of both. I wish I had more time to do art, though. You do art? Can I see? Uh, um, sure. Don't laugh. Well, I'm guessing they're just like meeting in some kind of school canteen, like cafe in a college cafeteria. And this is how they met. So if I click at the very beginning, may I sit down? I would click no. Would that just finish the whole story? I guess I'm gonna have to replay the game all the time. Let's play it. Let's just finish this one. This is wonderful. It is cute. Can I take a little closer look at that? Yeah. I love how happy they look. Right? I think boys could be the best life. Can I see more? You want to? Of course. I kept thinking about our lunch together. How could I see her again? I got my ID at lunch. Did you see it? I got it. I can give it to you tomorrow. Same time, place. Hmm. Yes? Watch August or check film. Let's take a look at her. What are you playing? Wow, you made that? Yeah, it sounds right though. It sounds different in my head. Oh, I know this feeling when I try to play guitar and... I always imagine this song I have in my mind would sound different, but it always comes out clumsy and just not the way I want it to. It sounds great to me. Thanks, May. What are we up to? Drawing? Oh, just drawing something. That sounds awesome. Can I see it when you're done? You want to see it? Or not, if that's a problem. No! It just... I'm not used to showing people my stuff. It might be embarrassing. That's okay. We all get a little embarrassed by what we make. Because it means so much to us. That's true. That's so true. I love everything you do. I'm sure it's amazing. Oh, I love what you do too. What does your song sound like in your head? A little like... Dun dun. <laughs> Okay, 
Marcus? What? Can I kiss you? Sure. Yeah. I mean, we are playing a love story, right? How can you say no in love story if somebody asks you, can I sit down or can I kiss you? Of course, we're going with yes. It's on a dating simulator. We, are, we have one person to go for, and we're going for the person. Okay, girls, that's enough. Okay. We were still young. I had zero expectations for love. But May was easy to fall in love with. I couldn't stop myself from falling. What are you thinking about? I thought you were asleep. I can't fall asleep for some reason. Okay, let's just talk then. Have you tried counting sheep? Oh, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't work, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'm named my 200th sheep Fred. Why Fred? Because Fred Rogers was a good man. He deserves to be honored as a sheep. Fine. I'll count gold statues now. Better? Much. Well, should we have like a nice conversation about our dreams or maybe let's discuss our fears? I think we have to talk about the negative stuff too, you know? Why not? Let's go with that. What do you think your greatest fear is? You first. What's your greatest fear? No snacks or being alone? Let's be serious here and I'm pretty sure nobody is saying would say that no snacks would be the biggest fear. And since we have only this one left, so let's go with this one. Probably being alone. Oh, what? Like my loved ones leaving me eventually? That's my greatest fear. You should get more loved ones. Statistically decrease the chance of being alone. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard for me to get close to others. I'm afraid that when they leave me, it will hurt much worse. That's so sad. Isn't it worth the cute memories you make along the way? Maybe. Well, I guess it's easier to say than done. It'll be okay. I won't leave you. Thanks, May. But how do you know that? I don't, but I can't imagine leaving you willingly. How's this? If I do have to leave, I'll leave you something behind. Like what? Your cat drawings? How do you know I draw cats? <laughs> May, we are dating. I know things. Alright, sure. Then cat drawings. I'll be honored. I love your drawings. It's a promise. What is your fear? Let's continue the conversation. So tell me, what is your greatest fear? Um, this sounds bad. That feeling useless, like I'm not achieving. That will just be another life here and gone, with no mark on the world. I mean, that's understandable. I think we all feel a little like that. Are we talking Bill Gates impact or taking the spider outside instead of killing it impact? Oh, definitely not Bill Gates level. Whatever I can achieve with no reason, I guess. What about your impact on me? What impact is that? Make me kinder, open up, reach out, happy. Oh. Indeed. Oh, that's so cute. I love you. I love you too. Mm. So far, so cute. Marvelous story, lovely music, the drawings, the art, it's perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. Our wedding will be awesome. I have kittens and puppies to pet. Aww. <laughs> what a guess of allergies. 
true. Damn, how about all guests get Tamagotchis? You're crazy. You like me? Speaking of guests, who should we invite? Well, which one? Which one? Normally, we would just have friends and family, but just us seems like that. Let's go with just us. How about just us and maybe a few close friends? Oh, boo, why? Oh, more private? <laughs> more, <laughs> more bigger vibes. Um, a bit more quiet and peaceful that way. It can be our private moment instead of us spending on a show. I agree. Oh, okay. That does sound nice. You owe me Boba Boo. <laughs> Promising to spend my life with her. Okay, with our more big virus, hit USA, gathering of, of more than five limited. Okay, so it's like coronavirus, but more big virus. Perfect. Okay, I'm getting groceries, you need anything? Hey, waifu. Don't go to the shop, you can die of the virus. Snacks. Ah, fine. The things I do for this family. Always on my mind, my... We did it. Our own place. Are we hanging up one of your cat drawings? Yep. We can decorate however you want now. Isn't it amazing to have our place of our own? How did you afford it? Come on. You just left school, I guess. You're very young and now you have your own place. Have you inherited some money from a rich eccentric aunt or something? Our own place. How about we bake something to celebrate? Yes, please. And it's a big place. Really big apartment, big house.
We settle into a comfortable routine. Is that JavaScript? Oh my god, I hate Java. What is so important that you can barely sleep? Even when you're working from home. It's a secret. Okay, so maybe she's drawing something really nice, especially for us. Right. I'm going back to sleep then. But it's 9 am. Exactly. <laughs> oh, pandemic officially over. Normal life resumes after a year. WHO announced that the fight was with more pick up virus was and I don't know what was because I couldn't scroll. Don't be stubborn, let me help you. No, I got this. Hey, I'm taller. <laughs> so cute. Whoa, how's the weather up there? It's great, thank you for asking. Why are you grumbling? Don't you like exercise? Not at 9 am. I like having growing older together, with the grey hair and the glasses, the young early birds. Love you. Love you too. I see you. Oh. May? The results came in. I'm afraid she has brain tumor. I love because it wasn't sleep deprivation. How are you? How are you holding up? I imagine it must be boring. It's nice actually. I've been writing my journal, looking out the window. It's a nice outside. What should I bring you? Chocolate? What has it been? Five weeks since real food? Chocolate is real food. I stand by my words. What about books or your laptop? No, that's okay. I think being here has given me a much needed break. And I'm not ashamed to admit that this has been great for my mental health. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm sorry that I noticed you're feeling bad. Don't be. I didn't really love myself. How could have you known? My MRI scans looks good. That's fantastic. What do you want to do when I get out? Good question. Is that you, August? Yes, it's me. Um, they said your condition got worse. That you might not be yourself. Do you even want to ask how are you feeling? One night we talked so long ago, you promised. Are you scared? No. It will be okay. I remember. I love you. Why did you leave? I had work. Will you forgive me? For what? So all the time she was drawing and saying it's a secret and she was waking up early, she was just making all the cut drawings for August, just you know, to keep her part of the promise. Well, it's a very simple story, a bit too sentimental, but still. Mm. It's not pretty good, but nice. <sighs> for not doing my best for you. And I will be alone, I finish dreams. 
What do you mean that there's dreams? We never accomplished our dream. I worked hard to make our business come true. But I ran out of time. I failed. You didn't fail me. Really? My years with you were the happiest. So you forgive me? You did nothing wrong in the first place. I didn't. Will you take care of this for me? What is this? My journal? It's yours now. I wonder whether it was all worth it. Now it's alone, just like before I met her. Except now haunted by what could have been more years with her. What if she had been diagnosed earlier? What if I had never met her? What if... And I was alone again. Damn, that's sad. I mean, what else could you expect? But on the other hand, maybe I can play again the game and get a different ending. And at the very beginning, I was wondering, what if I click, can I sit here? And if I click no, what will happen? So I guess I'm gonna go back and click no just to see what will happen then. And maybe if we did different choice and schedule the doctors before the pandemic. Maybe that would help, that would have helped, I don't know. Or on the other hand, maybe if I let August go for snacks in the shop and if we didn't buy anything, didn't take any mask, maybe they would both die because of the virus, I don't know. Anyway, anyway guys, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this game, I'm gonna make sure I will upload more of games like this with nice narrative, interesting plot, probably a bit of sub stories and lovely music and my pretty bad <laughs> commentary. So take care, bye bye!